21 days of the federal government shutdown now tied for the longest in U.S. history. It is normally payday today for the Coast Guard, but like other federal employees, they aren't getting a single dollar. 10 News reporter Rena Nakano is joining us now from the Coast Guard station at the Embarcadero. Help is on the way, Rena. Yeah, that's right. Earlier this week, the official Coast Guard support group put out a tip sheet suggesting their members maybe do a garage sale, babysit, or even be a personal shopper to supplement their income during this government shutdown. Obviously, it wasn't received very well, so they took that post down. But here in San Diego, all that support is not coming from a tip sheet. It's not coming from the federal government. It's coming from local organizations that want to step in to help. It's not a handout, it's a helping hand. Is there anything you need? We understand you're, you know, you're in a tough situation. A tough situation for just one branch of the U.S. military, the Coast Guard. Because they operate under the Department of Homeland Security, the government shutdown is forcing them to protect the nation's waterways for free, with the promise they'll get paid eventually. The diaper supply is low, the gas tank might be getting low, and these are the immediate things that we're thinking about. San Diego is home to just over 700 Coast Guardsmen and women, half of them married with children, almost all of them in the low income bracket living paycheck to paycheck. Last month's pay came from an emergency federal approval, but this month's isn't guaranteed. That's why local organizations like Support the Enlisted Project or STEP are stepping up to help. So our number one value is to do what's right. And in that situation, it would seem like we're going to give a little bit of special care or make sure these folks get what they need during this time. The organization helps all military and veterans, but sees that the Coast Guard families now are enduring especially trying times. Saturday is their quarterly food distribution at their Kearney Mesa warehouse. Take what you need. Um, and here's, here's some other community partners that can help. They're working with partner organizations to provide food, clothing, small supplies, gas cards, even furniture to those who need just a little help. It's the least they can do, they say, for military members who protect their freedoms for free. Well, we want to tell them that they're valued. We want to tell them that their work matters. And again, that special food distribution is going on tomorrow, beginning at 9 a.m. at the Step Warehouses in Kearney Mesa. That address right there on your screen, 9951 Business Park Avenue, San Diego, California. Again, no RSVP is required, and it's open to active members, veterans, guard, reservists, and their families. All you need to do is bring a military or veteran ID. And once again, the organizers were telling me to tell you, don't be shy because this this is a free resource for you. Reporting live out here at the Embarcadero, I'm Rena Nakano, 10 News. It's well-deserved help. Thank you, Rena. And the shutdown will continue through the weekend. You can follow the latest developments and any progress leading to it reopening with the free 10 News mobile app.